Emily, we're lucky you're here because Emily was going to do the show and we thought we'd be doing it via Zoom because we thought you'd be in New York, which is where you live, I believe. Yes, we live in Brooklyn. Uh, and, but you're over here filming. Yes, so we've been here since August. We brought the kids here and I'm from here, so my family's kind of thrilled. But I was supposed to start the show that I'm doing in November and it just pushed and pushed and pushed. So right. now we're starting in May. And when you're back here with the children, you've got two children, haven't you? I've got two one? little girls, Two yeah. little girls. Do, do they get more English again when they're yeah. over here? <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. Because they're very American, you yeah, know, which my father is sort of horrified by. But they do start to sound very British, and they love a curry, and they love Marmite. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, well, you must be proud of that. I'm really proud yeah. of it, yeah. And what sort of things do they forget about England? What, what sort of things do they say in America that then... Well, they say water, you know. <laughs> and I'm always like, oof. <laughs> and they kind of take the piss out of me as well. They go, they go. You say Paw Patrol, and we say Paw Patrol. Yeah, yeah. You know. And then they'll say like, you say water, and they kind of can't do my accent, which is a bit worrying. So they can't do an English accent for. But they've been in school, and I think when you're in school, you get bullied if you sound a bit different. Mm. You know, it's not really. So... I've never heard this. <laughs> 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 no one told me. No. <laughs> Poor Alan. But Alan, you couldn't be... I don't think you could be more English. Do they know you in America? What do they make of you no, in America? No, no, no one knows me in America, but what I like about being in America, because they just think English people are very eccentric, yeah. no one really yeah. knows I'm They do. They think you're yeah. really eccentric yeah. or that you're really bright. Which I love. Yeah, I love it though, because when I, I remember going to Vegas and then I was getting got in the taxi to go home and I said, Do you like Vegas? <laughs> you like the pussy? But you look pussy, yes! <laughs> pussy, yeah, you like pussy? I went, oh, I said, I've had so much pussy. I said, I've, <laughs> I said, I've, I've had enough. I said, I've had enough. I said, I've had enough. And he was like, ah, that's Vegas for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> And I loved it because I, they didn't, they just thought I was eccentric. I didn't have to explain anything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was yeah, nice yeah, I could be yeah. someone else. Yeah. And did someone they, who loved pussy. Did they understand you? <laughs> <laughs> At last. <laughs> you worked with Dame Judy. I did. My first job was with Dame wow, Judy. Wow, that's, well, that's, a, that's a daunting prospect, isn't it? Oh, it was terrifying. I, I, I remember I was all in this play with Judy Dench, you know, and it was my first job. And I remember getting ready. We were going to shoot the poster for it. And I was getting my hair and makeup done. I was it was just so cool. Yeah. And I just heard that voice. She's got that idiosyncratic, yeah. you know, famous voice. And I heard her come in and she goes, I can't even do it. I'm not even going to try. But she said, <laughs> where, where is she? Like, is in, can I come and say hello? And I just, I couldn't even stand up. I just remember just being like, oh, yeah. so in awe. Look, at she, look at how cool she is. I mean, come on. Yeah. How cool. But she was really cool and she taught me so much about not taking anything too seriously and don't sweat the small stuff and the industry is joyful, it is wonderful. It can be really fun if you don't kind of sweat things too much. And mm -hmm. she played pranks on me on stage wow. and like, she was just heaven. And she gave you some pretty good advice as well, didn't she? She did, yeah. Because <laughs> I was, at the time, um, think, well, I was sort of feeling like I was being pressurised into having a singing career and I never thought I was a particularly good singer and I certainly couldn't in So dance, how, how old were you so, then? How old like we? 17. So 18. a young, yeah, so a young yeah. pretty woman in the industry and they must have thought, okay, we could have a hit single with her if we give her the material. Yeah, and I just, and, and I, I knew it was wrong for me and I really didn't feel comfortable doing it and I remember we were about to go on stage for a show and it was all coming down, I was about to sign this record deal and I was crying and I was just, I hate letting people down and get like really upset about it. And I was so stressed and I went downstairs and I was like, Judy, this is happening to me right now. And she just very calmly, she went, oh no, darling, you can't do both. <laughs> and it was done. Great I, advice. I, 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 great I advice. Called, I called them, I said, Judy says I'm out. But you must be <laughs> dreading someone finding that early clip of that. See, thing. when you say so, it like makes me mm. uh, sweat a bit because I feel like you have it or something. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I, mean, I don't think anyone will it. find it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> please don't. No, you so know, scared. we haven't got it. But uh, even if we had it, I wouldn't show it because I know you wouldn't. No, I'd die. I yeah. would never recover. Has your husband seen it? Has John seen it? No. Have the kids seen no. it? No. Wow, you really don't like it. No, John didn't know I could sing until I did oh. Into the Woods. Wow. Oh, amazing. No, I don't sing in front of anyone. Why But why do you not? I just find... I don't know. I think it's really exposing and frightening. You know, Emily says she's got a movie out. Before we talk about that, I want to ask you, are you fans of horror films, generally? AJ, yes. do you like horror films? Yeah, I love horror films. Alan, you a fan? Yeah, I, li I like the psychological one. I, you know, that was the last film I saw before 
went into lockdown. What a quiet place. Yeah, I loved it. It's Thank so you. clever, psychological. I love all those. I don't like the ones when I was. I like the ones. Caroline, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Go on the line, don't like. Yeah. You know that. Go into the basement for no reason. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the phone calls come in from inside. So what? <laughs> <laughs> You know, because oh, I'm like what? a child of the 80s, and no one gave a shit in the 80s about, you know, all this idea, you 18. And me yeah. and my friend Lucy Swan, we used to go round to the local <laughs> news agent and say, oh, about, about 12, oh, my mum's... My mum's in bed, she can't get out. Can we have, like, sleepwalk slayers, please? Oh, we give it to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. You know, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, all those. <laughs> and then, you know, And then the poor man would think my mum was some sicko. She'd go round the shop. <laughs> 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 Mrs. Carr is sick in the head, woman. <laughs> but you know, they just give you these scary yeah, movies yeah, yeah. and we sit and just yeah. get shitted up. Well, you'll be yeah. pleased because if you did love a quiet place, <laughs> you can get <laughs> shitted up all over shitted again. Up. Because maybe, actually, would you. Would you like that as a quote on the poster for the You're going to get shitted up. Yeah. <laughs> that actually would be brilliant, because on the trailer, the new trailer, we've got these beautiful quotes, like, inspired sequel, blah, blah, nah, and then you just start shitted, shitted up. up. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing sequel, which is good, because I love the first film, and you kind of... Sometimes your heart sinks when you know someone's going back to something you love and making a sequel. And yes. And then pull it off. Yes. But you pulled it off. Explain the premise of, of A Quiet Place. Of the first one? Uh, well, both. It's kind of the same. Okay. Um, when you meet the Abbott family in the first one, they're living very strangely in this kind of strange farm setting. And they're in, they speak in sign language to each other. And then you realise that they're being kind of hunted and plagued by these monsters. So basically, in simple terms, if you make noise, you die. And then... At the end of the first movie, everything gets destroyed. So this is the second movie now, and the dad's dead. And here she is, this mother with three children, newborn baby who does not understand the rules of and the you've game. You've got to try and keep a baby quiet. How do you keep a baby a, quiet? Yeah. So the scene where you that, that you just showed, I'm running with a box, and they've rigged this. The baby's in the box with an oxygen yeah. tank on top. So the baby's and when I'm running with the holding the baby, but then we put the baby in the box, and um, and basically. You just see, as the world expands, you see how other people survived this. Yeah. You've known how the Abbott family survives, but what happened to the rest of the human race? Like, who's left? And are those people worth saving? And are they a friend or a foe? It's amazing, though, to see, because obviously the, the tension that you feel, especially someone who's had children. I've, I've had children, of course, Ada, you've got a, a so, little one, and yeah. you feel that kind of feeling like, you know, you can't keep your kids quiet. So what was it like filming with the baby? Did the baby keep quiet some of the time, or...? Well, it's, I, I've worked with babies a number of times, and I, I love working with babies. I just find them absolutely delicious. But they, you know, they, they, they often cry when they're not supposed to. They're, they're quiet when they're supposed to quiet, cry. And so we were doing this scene in the furnace. Me and Killian Murphy is in it. And the baby, was, I'm supposed to open the box and say, please, like, please let us stay, you know? Yeah, yeah. I open the box, and the baby's supposed to be kicking off, supposed to be screaming, and this yeah. baby was like... <laughs> <laughs> but when I say out, like it was yeah. like the child had been drugged. It, you, yeah. I couldn't wake him up. And I, I was like putting a wet cloth on his face. I took his old clothes off. I unwrapped him, put it, and he was just out. He loved the box. Yeah. Wanted yeah. to stay yeah. in the box. He was just like, who doesn't want to be in a box? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you mentioned Killian Murphy there. He's yeah. great in it with you, of course. He is wonderful, um, yeah. And now, how did you get cast? Was, were you fans of Peaky Blinders? Is that how it came about? Like, mainlining it into my veins, yeah. a, a fan. <laughs> like, we just loved it. And I remember watching it, and John had written the second script, and he just went, that's it. It's him. Mm. And we cast him, and he was a big fan of the first movie, so he was really thrilled. So what's it like working with him for a start? I mean, you were a fan already. Oh, he, yeah. I imagine he's yeah. one of those just actors. Him, no, I know, I was. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I mean, he's so arresting, you yeah. know, to be in a scene with. He's absolutely brilliant. But he's so polite and shy and sort of like the antithesis of his character. He's quite reserved, isn't he? Very, yeah. yeah. Did you socialise yeah. him? Did you go out much? Yeah, we did a couple of times. We dragged him out. Like, he, he quite likes to go home and just take a bath and, like, go to yeah. bed. He's, he's, he is self-professedly But I imagine because he's so <laughs> distinctive, you know, yeah. he's like, I imagine if he goes... Well, he li he... Yes, and so when he goes out, I think, like, when he has his Peaky Blinders haircut, he yeah. hates it. He must get recognised everywhere. Well, we went to dinner in Dublin once. We were in this restaurant, and as we were leaving... I could see this bachelorette party pull in and they were dressed as Peaky Blinders. Oh. And I was like, oh. I went in, I was like, Kelly, we have to get you out of it. <laughs> it would have been the greatest night it of their would have lives. Been of their lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we shred, we put his hood up and we like smuggled him out. Here's the thing, this is weird. I was waiting for a movie. I really wanted to see a movie that you made a few years ago, which I think has still not been released. Which one? You made a movie with The Rock. 
Yeah. Wow. Uh, and it was based on the Disney ride, which of course they did a lot because the Haunted House film with Eddie Murphy was based on that. Yeah. You made Jungle Cruise. I did. And they okay. haven't. They haven't. When did you make that? We made it in 2018. 18. And it was they... supposed to come out last summer, and we want to do a big release for it, so it will come out at the end of the summer. No, sorry, end of July. And was that, that picture makes me laugh. Every time he has his arm around me, it's like the weight of a, like a tree yeah. on your shoulder. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing. Um, Dwayne Johnson yeah, is amazing. He's he? amazing, yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And it must work with the what must be he's so much fun. He's the best. Oh my God, he's the best. I love he him. He trains. Does he have his own personal gym with him on the side? So he has his gym called the Iron Paradise. Do you know about this? You no, guys? Tell me. Because okay. I might need to get one. The so Iron the Iron Paradise. Yeah. And what he does is when he rents a house, because it's so massive, like he takes over, he gets a house with a tennis court and he kind of tents it. And it's massive. It's like a church. And I didn't realise that no one had ever been allowed in the Iron Paradise. It is his like inner sanctum. And then I said to him, really casual, I was like, "Do you mind if I like use a gym sometime?" <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> and I get on set, and the producers were like, "Never. He has never let anyone wow. in there." But it was amazing. I mean, I wouldn't go in there when he was in there. I wouldn't kind of. But he, but you, he you said to me afterwards. You wouldn't help him. <laughs> <laughs> but he said to me afterwards. He goes, I always know when you've been in my gym. You know, you have your baby weights left around. <laughs> so, Matt, I'm surprised he's got small enough weights for you to he use. He does. He does. Because the size he is. Oh, he's, he just, he's, he, it's just genetic. It yeah. doesn't even work out. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, okay. That sounds good. Natural. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the Quiet Place Part Two. But presumably your kids haven't been able to see the first one. They're, they're not too... seeing that till they're 45. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. don't even want to watch it. They hate, they don't even like Mary Poppins. Hold it, they what? don't like you what? in Mary Poppins? They don't like it. Why not? Because they hate seeing me in anything other than sweatpants. They don't like, look, yeah. they, they hate it. So what do they say when they know you're in a film? You must have tried to get them to watch Mary oh, Poppins. Oh, they've watched it once and then I will literally hear them around my house. I'll hear John go, all right guys, what do you want to watch? And they're like, Mary Poppins, but Julie Andrews, Julie Andrews, Mary Poppins. <laughs> like, scream it, like, like, please God, not mums. They're sending. <laughs> They're sending. <laughs> yeah. Sending. Yeah. You're, so, you're so good, Emily, you're so Thank good. You. I don't think I've seen, I've seen you in some bad movies, but they've never been your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I have done some bad not movies. You haven't done many, though. Oh, I've done a couple. Oh, yeah, but not many. Um, but I particularly love you in Devil Wears Prada. Thank you. Have you, you seen that, AJ? Yeah. I have actually seen it. I've been forced to watch it. No offence. <laughs> but it's not, my particular, it's not my particular type of movie to watch. <laughs> but, yeah. There's another quote oh for the poster. God. I was yeah. forced to watch it. I was it. forced to. It's not my particular kind of movie. <laughs>